In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you some tips for adding effects to the titles that you create in your project. This is a response to a query from a subscriber who said, I'd like to understand better how to use the effects on the titles and how that timeline with those three green colors works. So I'd like to give you some basics on applying effects to your own titles. We have on the screen a clip of a Jeep on a beach, and let's assume at one point we want to add our own title. So I'm going to click on the title room where I can press the F7 key on the keyboard, and that will get me into my titles. I'm going to use the text only subcategory. I actually have 200 presets that are loaded into my system. You may have more you may have less, but we're going to use a very simple illustration. So I'll take the default My Title and drag that down and drop it on my track number two. So it will overlay my video. Now what we're looking at here is to get into the title editor. I can do that one of two ways. I can double click on the My Title or I can press the F2 key. Either way, I'll get to my title designer. Now when we're working in the Title Designer in the more recent versions of PowerDirector, we'll have two buttons at the top, and we'll have one or more tab on the left. When we're using the basic version, we have an Object tab, and we can change some things in the basic level doing that. Let's change my title to Fun on a Beach, and we'll resize it to something slightly smaller. We'll move it over so it's on the sky. And let's just add a uh, shadow. I'd like to make the shadow a little bit smaller from for distance wise. And that's good. I have to, have to get my spelling correct here. There we go. Fun on the beach. Now let's assume we'd like to add an effect, a starting effect and or an ending effect to my title. I don't have an effects tab here. If you're on the basic mode, you won't, but if you click on the advanced button at the top, you're going to see you have two more tabs available. And you also see that you have this track here, which is the track of this particular title. Again, you can have more than one title in the title editor active at the same time. We're just going to focus on one. But you notice you have what my inquirer was asking about. You have these blue-green areas. It's dark on the left, dark on the right, and lighter in the middle. What's that all about? The left side shows you the duration and the name of a starting effect. And when I start this way, I have no effect, and it tells me that when I hover the mouse over the left section. If I click on the right section, it also tells me I have no effect, and its duration it gives me the duration, but I don't see anything happen. And right now, if I play this, I will simply see the preview and I will have the text appear on the screen for the length of the duration but no starting effect, no ending effect. So let's change that. To get to the effects, you, we simply click on our uh, timeline that has our text in it. You cannot apply an effect to an object, only to a text. So I'm going to click on the Effect tab in the middle. In CyberLink PowerDirector version 17, I have a starting effect, ending effect, special effect, and motion blur. We're just going to deal with the starting and ending effect in this tutorial. When I click to the right, I'm going to notice that I have a group of effects that I can use. In my copy of PowerDirector, I have 75 starting effects and 75 identical ending effects. You may have more or less depending on your version of the program. But if I want to turn a starting effect on, let's take one of the first ones, Amplify Horizontal. All I need to do is double click on it. That will do two things. I will see it previewed in my screen at the top and double clicking will apply it to my track. So now I hover and I see Amplify Horizontal. If I want to change it to another effect, I just double click on that. I'll double click on Beam In Down and I see it previewed on the screen and I also see it now when I hover the mouse over the starting part of my, of my title. That is the new uh, starting effect in this case. 
So if I click on it, I'll see it. There's a beam in down and everything else is unchanged. Now the darker area with the line helps me control how long it takes for the effect to play as my title is on the screen. I can actually shorten the ending effect to almost nothing and make the whole thing, if I want to, a slow starting effect. So if I start this and play it, now I will get the, the same effect, but it will come in much more slowly. Likewise, I can make it very fast, regardless of the length of the ending effect. And we'll start at the beginning and play the clip again. And now it will come in very quickly, so fast that you can hardly tell what the nature of the effect is. And when you move your playhead and, and have the double-headed arrow, you can control the length of it. And you can watch the numbers in the counter above the uh, timeline. So if I want to go exactly one second, that's all it takes to do that. And I look at my start time, my end time, and my duration when I hover over it, and I can confirm it's what I want. If I want to take the effect out completely, I double click on no effect, and that removes it completely. Now you'll find of, of all the effects that are available, there's some that you'll use on an awful lot, some you won't use very much at all but you can vary them this way for a starting effect. So we have a starting effect and we're using a pop-up one right now. And so it will come in that way to start with. Let's assume we want to also have an ending effect. So we're going to have to change the tab we're looking at. So I, I have to drag all the way up and then close. I can close the starting effect or drag down and then I see I have ending effects. I like to keep these closed when I'm not using them because oftentimes what happens is I think I'm adding an ending effect when I'm adding a starting effect. So it's just a little cleaner for me. Uh, may not be the way you want to work. So now I have the same set of effects. Let's use one. Let's use a slide right. Oh, slide left. Double click on it and there's my slide left. And if I hover over the ending section, I notice that my ending effect is a slide left. Its duration is 1 minute and 6 seconds. And I can shorten that. Now it's 1 minute and 4 seconds. You have to do kind of reverse math on this side. And now it's 1 second exactly. So now I have a starting effect and a different ending effect. We'll play this short clip. And we see we have fun on the beach, it comes in one way, and then it goes out another way. So it's a very easy way to change both the starting and the ending effect and the duration of one or the other. And again, if you decide you don't want any of them, you can just click on the no effect. So that's a bit of basics on adding effects to your titles in CyberLink PowerDirector. 